what the heck is going on guys welcome to your 22nd computer networking tutorial and we will continue our discussion on firewalls and this in this tutorial we will be discussing about different generations of firewalls so in the previous tutorial we have discussed that there are three generations of firewalls and uh, uh, the first generation of firewall was called and is still called packet filters firewalls it was introduced in 1980s and uh, the second generation of the firewalls which was introduced in early uh, 90s or the late 80s is called stateful firewalls or stateful filters firewalls of stateful packet filters firewalls and the third generation of the firewalls which we will be discussing today are called application layer firewalls application layer firewalls so let's continue our discussion on packet filters which were the first generation of firewalls and all these uh, uh, firewalls are being used in uh, basically in combination uh, uh, in today's uh, next generation firewalls so what are the packet filters so we have already discussed that the traffic or the data on the internet travels in packets and uh, as the name suggests that the packet filter firewalls check the authenticity of the packet if the packet is right then it would allow it to pass and if it is uh, 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 malicious or uh, if it's harmful then it will not allow that packet to be passed so let's discuss in detail about packet filters firewalls so uh, as i have already told you that a firewall is uh, a computer or is a software or hardware uh, uh, security system which sits between your internal network that may be your home network or the office network and the external network and in most cases uh, this internal external network is the internet so we have got an internal network and we have got an external network and uh, a firewall may be a, a, a some, uh, software that is installed on a server it can be a hardware firewall or it can be installed in a router or it can even be a proxy server so we can install these packet filters firewalls in different com in, uh, on different components depending on our requirements so uh, let's suppose that uh, uh, a packet reaches to our firewall there is uh, the packet filter firewall from uh, the internet then the firewall is acting as an inspector that it inspects that packet that is it inspects the packet uh, source address because every packet has got a source address it checks it will check its uh, destination address and it will check its protocol there are different protocols on the computer networks and if we have disabled any of the protocol then it will not allow that packet so these packet filter firewalls will check if the packet has got the source address and if it has got the destination address and if uh, the destination address is the part of our network and if uh, the packet is uh, to be delivered to a port that is if uh, that 
if we have allowed that port to be able to uh, to be able to receive those packages uh, packets so there are a thousand of thousands of ports on our computers and if the, those uh, 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 protocols and if though that uh, protocol or that port is allowed then uh, the firewall would allow the packet to be delivered to our internal network and vice versa if the packet is uh, delivered uh, uh, to an external PC then the firewall would check if the so if it has got the source address if it has the destination address and if uh, uh, <coughs> the protocol is allowed uh, to be uh, able to deliver to the internet for example let's suppose if we have uh, blocked our firewall ftp or telnet uh, uh, telnet ports then those would not be able to pass <coughs> so this is how uh, a packet filters firewall operates and the packet filter firewalls operates uh, on the first three layers of OSI model. Uh, we have already discussed about OSI model in our previous uh, tutorials. So if you are not familiar with the different layers of seven layers of OSI model, then please visit my previous tutorials. So we know that uh, uh, at the bottom, uh, or the first layer in OSI uh, uh, layer, um, layer model is called the physical layer and then we have got uh, data link layer and on number three we have got network layer so these packet filter firewalls uh, operated and are still operate on these three layers of uh, OSI model and these packet filters firewalls are called stateless firewalls because they do not or cannot check the session or the connection status of the communication. So these are called the stateless firewall. So, the, so the, they only check the packets and uh, for example in TCP most of the packets on the internet are delivered in TCP or uh, through UDP uh, and uh, uh, these so most of the uh, uh, traffic on the internet is being delivered uh, with the help of the TCP IP protocol protocols uh, or UDP protocols. So these firewalls uh, can only check the TCP status of the packet and it would allow the packet if that TCP uh, has some address or the UDP has the destination address. And the second for, uh, generation of the firewalls are called stateful firewalls they act as the packet filters but in addition to the packet filters they have the capability to check if the session has already been established or if that packet is intended for a new session or if that packet is intended for an existing session or the existing communication that is being done between the host and the source computer or if that packet is not a part of any communication. So if it's not a part of any communication then that it could mean that it's a malicious packet and the inspector within the firewall would check it more rigorously. So uh, these, uh, these stateful firewalls in addition to physical, data link, network, 
layers it can also it also operates on the transport layer and based uh, because it can operate on the transport layer it can check the status of the session or connection because we have already discussed that tcp is a connection less protocol and uh, ip operates roughly on the uh, transport layer of osi and ip is a stateful protocol and as these stateful packet filters or stateful firewalls can check the status of, of IP addresses. Therefore, they can uh, check if the session is already established, if it's a new session, or if that packet is not a part of any communication. And based on the predefined set of rules, it would either allow the packet or it would deny the access of that packet to our internal network and send that uh, drop that packet and send an error report to the sender and the third generation of the firewalls in addition to packet filtering and stateful uh, firewalls they also act at an application layer application layer uh, application and that is why we call them application layer firewalls and we know that the application layer is the seventh layer in OSI model and that application layer directly interacts with the applications on our computer and therefore with the users. And uh, some of the protocols, for example, HTTP protocol that is being used for, for the web communication, FTP protocol, or DNS uh, services, they uh, are the high level protocols and they act at the application layer. And these firewalls can allow the traffic based on uh, those uh, protocols. So packet, uh, uh, application layer uh, pro, uh, pro firewalls can check for the ports if those ports are open or not and if those pro packets are using some special protocols so for example if on our network we have uh, not allowed the communication through FTP protocol file transfer protocol then all the packets using those protocols would be denied so uh, guys and girls uh, thank you very much for joining me uh, the second tutorial on firewalls if you would like to know more then please visit ifetner.com in the next tutorial we would be discussing about different types of firewalls that are available in the market so see you in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye.